In this video, I want to provide a proof that the beta distribution is actually a conjugate prior to the Bernoulli and the binomial distributions. So first of all, let's write out what actually is a beta distribution. So a beta distribution is defined by two parameters, which I'm going to call a and b here. And it's equal to theta to the power a minus 1 times 1 minus theta to the power b minus 1 all divided through by a function, a normalizing function, which is called a beta function, which again takes these two parameters as an input. But the important thing to notice about this sort of denominator here is that this denominator here is merely a constant which ensures that the beta distribution when you integrate from three theta equals zero to theta equals one actually integrates to one, so that it is in fact a valid probability distribution. So what we could actually do is we could rewrite this as just being equal to some constant times theta to the power a times 1 minus theta to the power b minus 1, and that should also be a minus 1 as well. So to prove that the beta is actually a conjugate prior to the Bernoulli and the binomial distribution, we're first of all going to need our Bayesian formula. So what we're going to do is just write that down, which is just that the probability of theta given the data, and I'm not going to condition on model choice here, but you could do, I'm sort of implicitly doing that. That's equal to the probability of the data given a choice of theta, in other words, the likelihood, times the probability of theta, which is just our prior, divided through by the probability of the data. And what we do is we notice that the denominator here is independent of choice of theta, so it doesn't depend on theta. So what we can actually do is we can rewrite this as sort of just being proportional to the numerator. So the probability of the data given choice of theta times the probability of theta, the prior. And we're just sort of forgetting about the denominator again because, again, it is a sort of normalizing constant. And importantly, it is the same for different values of theta. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in the beta distribution for our prior and for the likelihood, what we're going to do is we're going to insert our binomial and our sort of Bernoulli distribution. So first of all, we need to write down what the formula for that is. And we know that for a Bernoulli and a binomial distribution, that the probability of the data given choice of theta is equal to something times, so I'm just going to write that again as proportional to theta to the power z times 1 minus theta to the power n minus z, where z here I've chosen as to be the sum of our sort of individual trials or individual flips of a coin, if you like, from i equals 1 to n. So then if we multiply this by our prior, which is just the probability of theta, which we know is proportional to theta to the power a minus 1 times 1 minus theta to the power b minus 1, we multiply these two things together, then we're going to get that the posterior distribution, the probability of theta given choice of data, is going to be proportional to, if we just do the sort of multiplication here, theta to the power a plus z minus 1 times 1 minus theta to the power n plus b minus z minus 1. And we note that this now has exactly the same form as our original beta distribution. If you compare the numerator here with that which we've obtained at the bottom here, these essentially are of the same form, except now we have a new value of a, which I'm going to call a primed, which is equal to a plus z, and we've got a new value of b, which I'm going to call b primed, which is equal to n plus b minus z. And we know that the posterior distribution is a valid probability distribution, so it has to integrate to 1, so we're going to need to divide this expression through by a normalizing factor in order for it to integrate to 1. And we already know what that normalizing factor is going to be. It's just going to be this beta function of our new a and our new b. Hence, we find that our posterior distribution, the probability of theta given choice of data, is equal to theta to the power a primed minus 1 times 1 minus theta to the power b primed minus 1 all divided through by our beta function of a primed and b primed. 
In other words, we have proved that the posterior distribution is a beta distribution, and hence the beta distribution is conjugate to both the Bernoulli and the binomial likelihoods.